Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of State of Mind. Last episode, we were basically flip-flopping between the two characters of Richard, I believe, was the the, the, the first one, and this is Adam, I believe. Um, but yeah, the first character, Richard, I believe, uh, is it Richard Nolan? I can't remember. My, the names have just gelled into each other for some reason. Uh, it might have been James, I can't remember, but I think it's Richard. Richard and Al Adam. Uh, it's like these two memories are being like folded into each other, and my brain just cannot remember the lines of like where it's going on. Uh, so far, the story is very, very out of place, I think, between the two. Uh, one being like very normal, it's just like they just had a car accident or car accident, while the other one had a accident from an explosion at the machinery factory thing that they were at, I guess. But there's no good, easy way to figure out what's truly going on. But yeah, we just picked our picked up our son from the from the doctors. John, and Adam. Yeah, we picked Mom? up the son from the from the doctors like not long ago. So we have to like send them in to home. And uh, this is the results of it. Also, uh, I'm a lot better now, so my voice should be back to almost its normal state of uh, normal state of like talking again. So I shouldn't be too roughed up unless I get very exhausted. I haven't really exhausted my voice yet or tried to because of my fear of uh, because of my fear I don't want to like lose my voice again out of nowhere. But I mean, who knows, you know, it's just what it is, unfortunately, means I have to still heal up and give myself some time. You really haven't removed the note? <laughs> she hasn't removed her note. Amy has not removed the, the note off the freaking wall when she's already back home. That's so weird. Alright, where is she anyways? Picture. But yeah, this game does feel like a weirdly, like, weird, um, is it this? Yeah, because they said they were adding an uh, information tab of some sort. <clears throat> okay, so this is kind of like my reminder board kind of thing. So every time when I come back here, it reminds me of what I... Uh, it reminds me of what I had missed, sort of, so far. Um, I guess the mom is probably inside her, in her office, I guess. You want to listen to some tunes? Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Damn it! You should have said it the way I wanted it. <laughs> Do you want to listen to some tunes? <laughs> oh, okay. Not at the moment, thanks. Oh, the robot's walking in. Adam, what is the square root of one hundred and sixty-nine? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fantastic, Adam. Next question. Yeah. Not now, Henry. Later, maybe. I'm so confused. Why did they just ask me a random ass math question? And how did I know it was 13? Because I memorized it. I actually only know up to f... No, I know 13 and then I don't know 14. But I know 15s. Which was, uh... I think was... No, I might have forgotten it already. Oh well. I'll see it when I remember it. I guess... Actually, would it, would it be? No. I think I might have remembered 20 though. Square root of the 625 is 20, I think. I might be wrong. It's been a long, long, long time since I've done the math. I haven't done math in a long time. Oh, maybe it's 125. No, 125 is not it. Because that's lower than 169. 169 is 13. 144 is 12. I already know, like, the... I only know up to 13 mostly of the times. Uh, but I don't remember too much beyond that. Like, it just... It's just more like in intuition at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's just intuition at that point, I guess. Um, let's see the picture. A circle. That hmm. that is not a circle. Oh, now I remember. It's a picture of a golden circle, right? That's what it's called. Yes, it's called the golden circle because it's a perfect. It's always a perfect shape of a circle, but in the reality of what I'm seeing right now, it's not exactly the same portrait picture that I saw of that golden circle thing. It just looks kind of off, so I don't think it's a perfect circle right now per se. All right, let's be, let's see if we can see Amy. Um, what is this? 
Memory lane. Okay. Doll. Uh, is Amy in the restroom? Bathroom? No? Yeah, she's in office. Okay. I don't really like the walking a little bit. The, the movement kind of feels very hard to turn him around. It's just... Adam, thank God. Annoying. Are you feeling better? I don't know. You ask me. I already saw the thinking man portrait thingy my bubber. Examine my own girlfriend wife character. Amy loves... <laughs> yeah, it's my wife, rather, it seems. Because Newman is the last name of Adam's. Uh, give necklace. Here. Uh, this... Well, I thought you'd... For me? Oh, it's so... Man. Did you get this from the jewelry assembler down the street? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought... Uh... No, it's... It's really sweet. Greek fret. Yeah, it has, um... Yeah. Thank you, Adam. You're a darling. I don't know what's the purpose of giving her the necklace. I don't know what changed from that. You're looking but... less pale. Thanks. I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But what? no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. Uh, oh, there's a nanny in this one. In this place. How's the nanny? So, a nanny. Am I such a bad father? No, I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. <laughs> oh my god. Is a nanny so bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again. I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Wait, keeping him grounded? That's that's kind of sad to hear. <laughs> He's going to be grounded forever. <laughs> I mean, I, I get what she meant by grounded. Grounded as in, like, uh, like so he doesn't fly out of there like crazy and stuff. Uh... I mean, in my mind, when you're younger, when you hear you're grounded, you're just, like, stuck and you can't do anything. You can't play anything. <laughs> okay. Alright. Accident? Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Hmm? Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. Okay. I guess it just forces me out of my uh, conversation with her once we finish that. Is John gonna say something like how he hates my guts? Your son is the most important person in your life. Make sure he is always happy and taken care of. Next appointment is at 10 a.m. again. Is everything really okay? <clears throat> Why? Nothing. Keep playing. Good night then, John. <laughs> night. That is some awkward conversation, but okay. Is everything okay? No? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I don't know, is this the way the conversation went there? This makes me think like these conversations could be written in a funny, in a more natural tone, but I don't know. I just, it's it's always thinking, I always think about the writing on how dialogue works sometimes here and there. When I can, I just think about it. And sometimes it just feels unnatural, like it just gets cut hard cut because they wrote something different or something like that or they were planning on something but then they just couldn't come up with something so they just gave up and uh, made an awkward conversation out of it i guess i mean a lot of that problem was from what i played from vampire which was the previous game we just finished uh, not long ago check out that series if you haven't uh, we finished that game and i was just like a lot of the dialogues felt very disjointed and awkward sometimes uh, not every one of them but just like a good every now and then there would be like some very disjointed dialoguing that just made it hard for me to realize that they were talking like naturally sometimes which oh my god you have no pillows <laughs> which kind of makes me think that like dialogue is hard to write if it's not natural enough sometimes or that like they just feel like they're writing something that's hard to read on the on paper i guess or read to to the audience or to the 
How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. <laughs> Back to Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Yeah. Many Central called us. To... We were worried about you. I bet you were. S seriously. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. It's funny because that guy is like the best friend almost. Your hollow pin board shows clues and current objectives. Pin boards are something, something. I couldn't read the bottom quick enough. Right. Yeah, it just tells you the story basically. And it tells you it tells you the objective of what you need to do, I think. Alright. Where is James? My kid is gone. Tracy isn't her with her parents. Where's my son? Man in the apartment. Who visited Tracy in the apartments? I need Steve's help to re. Oh yeah, we had the. Uh, I hate that we we got distracted by like the change up. We got the memory card from the robot's head, so we need to use the me memory card here to see what we can find. But he's not letting me see it. I guess. Robot, can you not follow me around? It's sometimes a little creepy. Are you looking for something? Can I help? You can help by shutting your mouth. <laughs> Man, this character is just so, so aggressive about everything and anything. Truth be told, Richard is such a juxtaposition, such a flip opposite of what Adam is. Adam is like all nice, but his co-worker is all rude. And this, or his, his co-worker best friend is all rude to Adam, even though Adam like, seems like a nice guy or a decent guy at least. Here, it's like Richard's such an asshole. And very like, like very like mean and stuff, angry like a bitter old man. While his best friend Steve seems kind of like a nice guy who's just worried about him, but he's just like, ah, don't worry about me. You, you just worry about yourself. <laughs> the following ingredients are missing to assemble this product: honey, wheat, palm oil. Nasty. I'm doing that every time because I'm just like wondering if we'll ever make food for our own character. <laughs> It just makes me wonder if we'll ever get hungry in this game for this character. Oh, the glass has been cleaned up finally. Bed. That is a loud bwom. That is a loud, loud bwom for no reason at all. Okay. Yeah, just examine this bed. Alright, let's get out. I don't think there's really anything here anyways for me, so I'll just head out. And to the West Are you Plaza. certain you can go back to work, sir? I've gotta go. I wish you a productive and successful day. Oh, achievement. Depressive weekend, achievement unlocked. Oh, that was the end of the first chapter. What the heck? <clears throat> Like, that was a first chapter thing, which is kind of weird to me. Kiosk. Yeah, this game doesn't have an, an actual numbering chapter system at all. Like, you, they don't know, notify you that that's the end of the chapter. So the achievement's the only way to let me know, I guess. I like the, the city design, though. It's really interesting looking, a lot of the times. <coughs> Alright, so this is our apartment space. Yeah, the city design is very interesting nonetheless. I actually like the, the scenery of it. 777, hey. Min... Minum... Minocene? I guess is what it says right there? I can't, I can't tell what it is. Alright, let's check out the space. Broken glass. So if this is chapter two, that means there's gonna be a lot more stuff going on uh, along the way, I guess. This is a cab. The cab looks nothing like a cab, I guess. <laughs> Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Interested? 
Marcet Inc. is taking applications now. Valid nanoscan required. Uh huh. It is interesting to see that, like, this sort of, like... Like, the Mars situation seems like a more, like, paradise -y style, or paradise -y representation, like a, uh... I don't know what the word would be called, but, like, a representation of something that, that Richard is not able to attain, or is not willing to attain at all, or understand it. Ops took your job. Where did you work? <laughs> In a bot factory. Uh, what? The bots are assembling <coughs> themselves now? A bit more complex than that. But I needed something catchy for the sign. Do I have food? No, I don't have food. Oh, I can't. Oh, I, I can't press enter. Apparently. Sorry, I uh, only have this bar here. My assembler's acting up. Oh, thanks, sir. You're a saint. Yeah, I guess my character didn't really eat much. Hilarious. Alright. Mars. Our future. Alright, shut it. By shut being machine. a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create... Yeah, I just want to examine the world a bit, little bit before we move forward to our workplace. I don't even know where our workplace is. They just say go to your workplace in terms of what it is. Come here, man. I got everything you need. Not now, thanks. Is there something here that I can grab, I guess? <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it, though. Looks like a small playground, but turned into a... A junky hideout or something like that, I guess. Where is our hideout? Or our, our workplace? Oh, there it is. Just very big words. Hey, man, hold up. Yo. Passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins. Jace here can get you everything you need. I'm not interested in your crap. Yeah, I wasn't down here for your business. Wait, I'm... don't I know you? Wait, don't I know you guys? Criminal scums. <laughs> Just kidding. Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime Illegal more print effectively. Item. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. Breakpoint. I guess we pick up an item like that, I guess, randomly. Now it's getting called. A cell, sorry. I thought it was call. I read that wrong. Nano scan cell. This cell is the property of the government. Can I walk to it and get get sp spiked down? No. It just has an invisible wall on it. <laughs> Don't get scanned. At least one of us might have a chance. Yeah, you, you won't even notice. Like at the radiologists. Oh. That is, that sounds kind of scary. Getting scanned like that and then, like, having them look into your body like that is just kind of weird a little bit. We're under a highway, which I've just noticed. So that goes down to the parking lot. Let me go over here to the kiosk, I guess. I mean, the first thing we saw was the kiosk, so might as well check that out. <clears throat> Sir, do you have children? Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. I don't have time. Sir, you should consider taking the time. Uh, no. You wish. <laughs> People have different lives to deal with, so no. Randy. Small business owner. Okay. Big pack. <clears throat> Ha! At least some us keeping this business alive. Didn't you leave for Mars? Make a new start and all that? Yeah, Nolan. I got myself scanned. I guess that's stupid to you. I do have my principles. And I do have quite a mortgage. <laughs> that's hilarious that this guy can't go because he has no money to get to, to get to Mars at the moment. I think. I think that's what's implied there. It's just that he didn't have the money even though he wanted to go. Alright, let's see if we can go up here. If we can't, then I'll just go to work. A news flash from okay. The Voice, your trusted news source for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there's been yet another bombing attack on Kurtz Robotics. The authorities believe the terrorist anti-technology group Breakpoint is behind the attack. 
This has been the second attack of its kind within the last few days. In the... Warsaw, a drone attack by so the, the, the news gets the played Eastern out security here zone too, has caused serious damage to the inner city. Right. A 250 story administration building was destroyed by five missiles. Alright, let's get let's let's get to work. News from New York. I was thinking about maybe going into the uh what's gonna call it? The uh the train thing, but I'm just not too sure about it. I thought this lady Welcome, was gonna Mr. Nolan. You're expected on floor two four seven. I thought the lady was gonna stop me and talk to me about something, but it seems like that lady is just there as an NPC. Uh, under surveillance, okay. Surprising is under surveillance. <clears throat> Probably Steve is going to talk to me about what I did on the article <laughs> that I sent out the day before or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Oh, they have Good the... Good morning. Morning. Richard, I'll talk to you later. Huh? Uh -huh. Who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. Okay. He's expecting you. God, what's the emergency? I'll go talk to Steve first. I like how the, the background design is like the world and their clocks. Wait, is that how you spell Moscow? Because in English we just say, we, we say with a cow, like C-O-W, not K-A-U. Which they both sound the same anyways, cow. It's just different spellings. But this reminds me of uh, Control uh, Ultimate Edition, which I've also played a whole series of. Uh, one of the office space has this, but they have like all the clocks of the world or something like that. Or, and it's much more well detailed, I think. There's Richard. Hey, all good? Hey. Interesting. Nothing here, okay. I don't know why I went back here. I just wanted to see if there was any collectible items that I just, just like I did with the pickups with the flyer. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted news source for Berlin oh and God, the Western these... world. The radio plays in, in here Berlin. too? Jeez. I've had enough of that printed junk. Damn embargo. Property of The Voice. Use. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just gonna make a thing. I'm <laughs> just making my coffee. Which I also have my coffee right here still. Hmm. Wait, they have just sushi just hanging around like that? Japanese delicacy. Why is specifically just the sushi <laughs> as the buffet? They have cake, though. Cake. Vitamin water looking bottles with Coke can looking bottles, I guess, or glass bottle drinks. Food snacks, okay. Restroom, I'm guessing, over here. Alright. Uh, we do have an inventory. Full coffee cup flyer module. Oh, this belongs to the thing. Okay, cool. Oop, my bad. All right, let's keep moving. The hackers created vast numbers of false identities and brought them into circulation. Experts believe that either an organized criminal network. I want to check around a little bit before we go to Steve. Oh, this is some nice posters. Maybe a concept artist did that, did the whole thing there. Oh, is this hey, my- Hey Richard, long time no see. Because I wasn't here. Oh, this is my place, isn't it? Frank Lloyd and Travis, Troy Davis. Okay, so it's not my table. It's, it's somebody else's, but it's- Somebody else's, but familiar names, of course. Like I and if the East bombs the Vatican, so long as the message stays yellow, it's your problem. Mm. Okay, copy. I think so far this game feels like a weirdly glorified point-and-click adventure, but without the point-and-click, and it's all 3D, <laughs> like more more of a Telltale game-esque style. 
like that's how I feel about this game so far. It's just like there's a lot of like this point and click vibe going on that just makes this game very different in a weird way. I just started thinking that that's the case with what I'm seeing or playing through so far. Troy. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Nolan. Yes. I wanted to introduce myself. Not now, please. I'm busy. <laughs> but I later, okay? <laughs> okay, fine. Being a rude man, I was. Richard, stop being a rude person. <laughs> Just being so much of an ass. All right, where's Steve? Steve over here. Steve's over here. Okay. Wait, is that Steve? No, he just looks like him, isn't it? No, Steve is over there. My bad. How's he go inside that that little chamber in here? Breakpoint is behind the attack. Right here. This has been Richard, come on, let's take a look at you. Also, it's very much more quieter in here, which is interesting. How they just cancel out sound from within this room. Talk or yeah, talk, 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 talk. Where's my mouse? There we go. Carrie. Could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Oh, I see. I just talked her out. Offer coffee. Uh, thanks. Hey, you look good. You should go to hospital more often. But rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. Mm, I'll calmly react. Because even though realistically I feel like Richard is kind of an asshole, <laughs> I don't want him to be an, a very emotional baby kind of thing. It just feels like he would be like such a uh, emotional person for no reason at all. What is Troy doing here? Why did Frank employ him? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Mm. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. You, you're not splitting up, are you? No. This one sounds like it's emotional, and this one's less emotional. It's just more, like, kind of curious. And I'm personally curious, so... What makes you think that? Well, nothing. Just a, uh... Just a what? What makes you think that, Steve? Did Tracy tell you something? Well... Jennifer mentioned something along those lines that you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight, it happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I myself haven't really been in that situation scenario. But there are times where I would just be like, I think like maybe friendships could be ruined in that kind of case, but sometimes they don't because that's usually how it is. It's just like we just take time to just not play games together, then you come together to play games again. It just it just happens. Look, Tracy's gone. What do you mean gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you? been looking for I've called everywhere she's not at her parents she's not at the hospital well she'll be back soon I'm sure no I think she's with another man Steve <laughs> he doesn't even he didn't even care he just kept working it's just like oh yeah okay she's with another man tap type 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 <laughs> she bought a bot one of those base five things base five what'd she buy that for ah. to annoy me probably the bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. Mm. <laughs> Just show it to me. Welcome to the voice. Okay. That's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Alright. Alright, cool. Let's end the episode there for now. Richard, I'm ready. Oh, Frank. Alright, I'll end the episode for now. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of it, or in a video of mine. So hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night over for watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and check out what the hell this this game is gonna have me go through because I feel like uh, I mean, so far it's interesting in a way that's like making me think about like what is this guy's background and like how are we going to influence the workplace because so far it seems like we're like our options of like reaction is like very minimal just two different reactions uh but it's like easy to kind of like piece together what kind of person you want to be and i like that it's like it's not hard to to kind of assume that you're going to be emotional or not emotional in, in some cases but it's just a little bit harder to know what my response would be i think everybody like everybody has a different type of response like when you hear a question that response may not be the same as the next person or the way that the person says their answer may be different from the next person so it's always hard to really make a good consolidated variety of answers for players to just be like yep i want to say it like that yep i want to be saying those exact choice words uh but instead it's just like they have the developers the designers have to develop those key choice words and make sure that it sounds exactly what they're going to say to those characters and that's why i think that disjointed dialogues can happen if you're not writing it properly to what the player thinks is going to be said and stuff like that so so far decent not too bad but let's see where the story goes I, I really don't know i don't know how far along i am in this game either i finished chapter one I don't know how many chapters. I'm assuming there's four or five chapters, maybe. It's not a long game, is what I remember seeing uh, from the How Long to Beat It game, uh, or How Long to Beat It website, which is the short the short hand of L L HLTB, which is How Long to Beat. Um, I check that often to see how long my games I usually play is uh, takes how long it takes to finish these. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Um, I'll see you guys next time. So, Roz, out.